Welcome back, I'm Jay, we've got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show, and today we are having a customer build that we're putting all together. This is not the first helmet that he has bought from us. What's his name, Steve? This is for Brian Mendoza. Brian Mendoza, thank you for coming back. Uh, so Brian's had a couple of kids, and I guess what, he's got a 49ers helmet that we built a while ago? So we're taking a pretty much out of the box, shut. Uh, this is an authentic helmet and it's of the San Jose State Spartans. And we're gonna upgrade the face mask to yellow. We're gonna put on a yellow mirror shock 1.0 visor. We've got some unbranded Under Armour clips in white. We've got an SJSU 3D bumper going on the front and an Boss Tech flag going on the back. A California chrome flag detail, decal going on the back. A yellow warning label to match the yellow in the decals in the face mask and a Shut hard cup elite chin strap. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the big things that we do that it kind of sets us apart from everyone else is we do put all this stuff together for you so you don't have to worry about it. Some people like to do that, Steve. I know you're one of those guys. You want to get your hands in there and know how it all works, right? Yes, I would definitely not like mine assembled. And you can tell us, hey, don't assemble it. I, I would prefer to have it just done out of the box. Not that I'm opposed to it, Steve, but I, you know, then it just sits there until I get around to it. The mask that came with the helmet was a Ropo UB, and the mask that we're putting on the helmet here, upgraded to, is an EGOP. And I would say of all of the shut mask styles for the XP type of helmet, which this is, the EGOP is probably the most popular. That or the Ropo or the Ropo single wire is a lot of those too that people like. So the Shock 1.0 visors, I say hands down, the type of face mask they fit best in is the Shut mask. The curvature is pretty much perfect right out of the box. Your Shock is coming out with a new visor specifically for the Speed Flex called the Zero G, and it's you know kind of going to be designed to fit the Speed Flex helmet as good as the 1.0s fit the Shot helmets. If I was Shot, I would just say, hey, you know what? Let's just partner up with Shot and co co brand the visor because they fit they fit so good. Okay, actually, before we do that, Steve, let's do the decals on the back. Let's get rid of this guy. And kind of bring it off here, down a little bit, put a little bit of an angle, boom. We're gonna stack these flags. There you have it. So we had to kind of make this bumper work. So what we, you know, we, we use what we have. In this case, this is a Riddell Speed front 3D bumper that we basically pump, punch some holes in to make it work with a shut. We're going to take the buckles off. We'll put them back on. I've been forgetting this a lot recently, you know? Another great build. We'll go over real quick. We got the Shut Authentic. This is a Shut XP helmet, uh, SJSU, a 3D bumper, an EGOP face mask, a Shock 1.0 yellow mirror visor, unbranded white Under Armour clips, an Elite hard cu uh, Shut Hard Cup Elite chin strap. We've got Sports Star white buckles, and on the back we've got an embossed tech flag and a California flag and a matching yellow warning label. It's a lot of little pieces to get it to where it was, to where it is. But I think if all of this stuff, it makes a difference for people who know, they know. 
Big, big congratulations, Brian. Um, can't wait until we do another helmet for you. We know what that's going to mean. Maybe we'll give you a year or so for that to happen. Uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers.